Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston's sprawling former love nest in Beverly Hills hits the market for $49 million. The sprawling mansion in Beverly Hills that Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston once shared is back on the market. The former couple were married in 2000 and lived at the historic love nest from 2001 to 2006 when they sold it the year after their divorce. Back in 2001 they bought it for $13.5 million and it had now been listed for over three times as much, a jaw-dropping $49 million. The property was built in 1934 sprawls 12,000 square feet with five bedrooms and 12 bathrooms. The listing, from Susan Smith of Hilton and Highland shows a beautifully updated home with heated, marble floors in the kitchen, a huge formal dining room with space for 20 guests and a fireplace. The spacious master suite features vaulted ceilings and a marble fireplace. There is also an exercise room plus a bar room that converts to a digital projector room and gourmet cooking kitchen. The large living room opens up to the huge swimming pool and outdoor entertaining area with fireplace. On the grounds of the estate there is a tennis pavilion and guesthouse. For the privacy-conscious celebrity the property boasts two separate gated entries on two streets. The home was built by Frederick March and designed by Wallace Neff. After his split from Jennifer, Brad went on to date Angelina Jolie before marrying her in 2014. They split in 2016 and share custody of their six children. Jennifer married fellow actor Justin Theroux in 2015 but they parted ways in 2017. On June 6, 2018, Star maintained Aniston had the fight to end all fights with Stone, who had called Theroux's new girlfriend. To make it appear as if the report was credible, the magazine alleged it had an insider who leaked how Aniston felt Stone dating her estranged husband was the ultimate betrayal and even quoted the former friend stars supposedly telling the La La Land star, I thought you were my friend. But in the real world, Stone and Theroux never dated, and the purported confrontation between the two actresses didn't occur, except for in the imagination of whoever concocted the phony report. And while that was the main contention on the front page of the tabloid, the article inside focused on Aniston thinking she spotted sparks between Theroux and Stone in photos of them hanging out in France, and wondering whether he cheated on her while they were still together. Actually, Theroux noted on Instagram that he and Stone are just BFFFFFS, having perhaps anticipated that just being in the same frame with his maniac co-star would naturally lead to false rumors. Also, while it wasn't publicly known at the time. Stone had long been dating Dave McCary, a comedy writer who used to work on Saturday Night Live. Since that cover story, below, Star hasn't become more reliable with its reports about Aniston, Stone, or Theroux. Incredibly, even though it was well established that they weren't a couple, the publication manufactured another work of fiction a month later that contended Jennifer Lawrence told Stone to dump Theroux after she supposedly had them over for dinner. Every aspect of that article was fake, from its premise to its quotes that allegedly came from a source close to Lawrence. The same magazine then published another cover story in November 2018 that untruthfully insisted Aniston and Brad Pitt were having a baby after rekindling a romance. That article, which asserted Aniston was telling friends that she's pregnant, was also a lie. Pitt's rep went on the record to call the tale baseless, while Aniston's spokesperson termed it a complete fabrication.